everyone. Welcome to another Overrated Film Saturday. I will be your host, Native American uh, Minion Michelle. And uh, for this particular video, I wanted to address a movie series again, or at least uh, again in regards to this month, uh, since there was a previous Minion who discussed um, in particular, the Final Fantasy, uh, Final, excuse me, Destination films. And for this video, I'm going to be addressing another series of films, and in this case, the Paranormal Activity films, or movies. Ah, uh, yes, these ones were fairly popular within, I think, the earlier 2000s, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or later to 2000s. Um, but uh, the it, interesting thing about the reason why and to which these films, I think in particular, became so popular was the fact that they were trying to utilize found footage. Now, found footage was utilized beforehand largely through uh, the Blair Witch Project, um, but it didn't seem to really spark too much, um, I guess, interest, only another sequel that eventually came around to it. Um, but the paranormal activity sort of phenomenon that occurred when initially the first movie was released um, is primarily what drove this series to being, I think, well recognized and also initiated various sequels afterwards. Um, but the primary problem that I have with a lot of the paranormal activity movies is, is that they rely a lot on the whole jump scare tactic. Um, they try to have nothing going on and then eventually when something goes on it's maybe not as scary or doesn't really you know spark the imagination and i think it primarily relies on trying to be scary rather than trying to bring out a very interesting and entertaining story um and i think that's primarily a, a problem with a lot of the films that are within the series uh, is that they try to be scary, but at the same time, they don't have, um, I think, a lot of uh, interesting elements that exist within their stories, and they primarily rely on jump scares as a tactic for getting people scared, even though sometimes it doesn't really work, um, especially considering the fact when sometimes they try to you know, have little strange weird things happen, like a door opening or something, or lights flickering on and off, and you know, you're just like, is that supposed to be really all that scary? <laughs> um, but the thing is, 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 is that I think a lot of the times, at least within the horror films that I'm usually familiar with and that I enjoy watching, I like more so horror films that actually have a story behind them and that there's some context to them. But here it just feels, again, like that they're trying to build up for the next scare. They're trying to build up for the next revelation that's supposed to happen. Instead of actually producing a story throughout. And then on top of that we get a scare. And on top of that we get a uh, something entertaining or interesting happening. But the the thing is, is too, is, is when you're primarily relying on this sort of found footage uh, kind of angle, it... Um, often is done in a way that's, you know, again, it doesn't really produce so much a story, you just see things kind of just happening, but nothing's really ultimately progressing uh, as far as the plot. Um, and again, I think what I think really resulted in the films getting way too overly uh, praise was the fact that, you know, I, I understand one film uh, that tries to do this kind of a concept, and, you know, the first film, I think, was plenty of what we would really need when it comes to paranormal activity, but there's already so many. I think they're already on a fourth one. I don't even know. I think they're gonna probably try for a fifth one, if I'm not mistaken, but the series just wants to keep going, and I think the problem is, 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 is I don't think these kinds of movies really need to keep on going. I mean, I think there's definitely other horror avenues that people can do using even the found footage medium that would actually uh, utilize some interesting stories, but here a lot of the times, at least within 
paranormal activity. I didn't feel like there was a whole lot that was really interesting or that was really pushing the boundaries or really allowing people to be scared and at the same time providing an interesting story. Um, so I think that's really the, the, the biggest problem uh, that I have with these films is, is that they try to rely too much on the scaring and rely too much on trying to get people freaked out when really the the primary the primary thing of any uh, movie is to generate a story and uh, when you don't really have that and you're just relying on things to just kind of pop out and be weird um, and ultimately scare people uh, it doesn't really ultimately I think suit it too well um, and uh, I think oftentimes when you see various similar things kind of happening throughout all of the uh, throughout all of the films, you know, it doesn't really provide anything new or uh, a different environment. You know, it there's just it just doesn't it just doesn't suit itself. I think ultimately all too well, unfortunately, uh, and I think that's really what the primary problem is with a lot of these films. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you know they they rely too much on trying to be scary and don't ultimately I think produce something that's interesting of a story or try to make things actually happen um so but that's just really my honest opinion on these films I'm sure people have a variety of different uh, conclusions that they come to as far as this series is concerned and um but my primary um feeling towards them is, is I think that Initially, uh, one film that tries to focus in on this and use the found footage element, I think, works. But when you're trying to do the same rehash over and over and over again, and at the same time not bring anything new to the table, and even initially don't really bring anything as far as a story is concerned, then I think uh, there is some problems that arise from that. So that's just my honest opinion. But uh, I'd be more than happy to hear what anybody else has to say. Uh, and if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and hopefully I can come by next year. Apologize that these videos are being uploaded a little late. Uh, unfortunately, we've been having some meetings uh, between all of the minions, so we haven't had time to upload videos, but we should be caught up by the end of today. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, I can come by next time then. But... Goodbye, and I wish the next mini the